Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to monitor Windows processes with Grafana. If you don't know what Grafana is, Grafana is an awesome visualization, analytics and alerting platform. I've already made videos on how to set up Grafana and how to use Grafana, how to connect Grafana to various data sources, how to set up alerts in Grafana, how to use CSV in Grafana, how to use some JSON data sources in Grafana, how to use variables in Grafana, etc. I will leave the link of this playlist in the description, so please be sure to check it out. By the way, the whole content of this video is present in this blog post, so please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Alright, let's get to the topic. We want to monitor a Windows process with Grafana. It can be any Windows process which is running continuously in the background. If the process sheds down due to some reason, you should get an alert in Grafana. That's what we want to do in this video. Well, you can achieve this in many ways. You can run something like a WinLog beat, which is like an agent which runs in Windows and sends the telemetry data to Elasticsearch and you can connect Grafana to Elasticsearch and do that. But if you want to do it really simply, I suggest you can use a batch script. So this is a simple batch script which uses a command called task list. Task list is a Windows command which will display all the running tasks or the programs in the windows and it supports a filter flag so using filter flag you can filter for an image name so in this batch script i am telling the process name is something like reporting.exe it can be something like postgres.exe or whatever the software you want to monitor so it will filter the task list for the required image name and it will set this is ok variable to 1 if it is running if it is not running it will be is ok equal to 0 that's all so the first step would be you will use task list to see whether the program is running or not and then what this does is basically it will create a timestamp in a string format so that i can write it in a csv file that's all so ultimately this code creates this variable called current timestamp and it will be the timestamp in utc format and you found whether the program is running or not you have constructed the current timestamp and then you will dump it into a CSV file, something like this. So all this code can be written into a batch file, something like monitor process dot bat and the output would be a CSV file, something like this time value. The time is the timestamp and value is one. So if the process is running, the value would be one. If the process is not running, the value will be zero. So you will get a CSV file as a result of running this batch script and it will contain the information whether the process is running or not. So if you periodically trigger this process using a task scheduler, it will continuously update the CSV file with the information whether the program is running or not. Now you just need to monitor this CSV file. So now Grafana needs to look at the CSV file continuously. So how can we do that? You can host the CSV file folder using a file server. You can use IIS, Apache or simple Python server so that the file can be accessible through a URL. And once you host the file in HTTP server, Grafana can connect to the URL and continuously monitor the CSV file. And if the thresholds are crossing, that means if the value is zero, you can send an alert. It's that simple. So we don't need to use any database or something like that. Just by using a batch script and a file server, you can monitor a program status in Grafana very easily. So this is how we can monitor a program with Grafana. Well, we said Grafana should monitor the CSV file. So how can Grafana do that? Well, Grafana can use an infinity data source where you can specify the CSV file location as a URL and Grafana can consider it as a data source. So once you configure the infinity data source, you can create an alert condition and mention the URL of the CSV file and declare the column types that first column is the time, second column is the value. So after you define the query, you can define the thresholds by saying that if the value is less than one, that is if the value is zero, you can trigger the alert. So now you have set up the alert condition like this. After you create the alert rule, you can set the evaluation behavior. That means at what periodicity the alert will be evaluated. In this example, we have kept it five minutes. That means every five minutes, the alert will be evaluated to check if the process is running or not through the CSV URL. And that's it. If the CSV has value zero in it, then you'll get an alert email or alert notification, whatever the notification channel you configure. By default, it will be the email. And if you don't know how to set up email alerts in Grafana, I've already made a video on that. I will leave the link of that video in the description. You can go through that. All right. We have seen the strategy for monitoring the Windows process. Let's try to implement it. I'm going to take a blank folder and let me try to create a new file here. I have created a file called pmon.bat. That means it will monitor a process. So let's try to right click and edit it with notepad or whatever editor like VS code you can use. I'm going to copy the batch script in the blog post. I'm going to copy this batch script and paste it in the notepad. So in this example, I am monitoring a process called notepad.exe. That means if the notepad is open, 
you should get the value 1 if the notepad is closed a value should be 0 you can even use something like httpd.exe to monitor apache or postgres.exe to monitor postgres sql database something like that to keep it simple i'm using notepad.exe here and in the end it's going to dump the csv file at this location let me try to make the location as the same folder where the batch script is located just for convenience now we have created a batch script which will monitor a process called notepad.exe and it will update the status as a csv file at this location so let's try to save this and let's try to close this and let's try to run this by double clicking this now the batch script has run and it has created a file called appstatus.csv let's try to right click and open it with notepad you can even open it with excel but let's try to see with notepad you got two columns time value the first value is the timestamp which is in utc and the second value is whether the process is running or not when i double click the batch file the notepad was not open so it was zero now let's keep the notepad open and let's try to run this again and now let's see the app status.csv the value is one so the batch script is monitoring the process all right now you can trigger this batch script periodically in a task scheduler in windows i can open a task scheduler in the task scheduler library create task and here you can write something like process monitor and in the triggers you can add a trigger you can keep it daily and repeat the task every something like five minutes or 10 minutes for the duration of indefinitely and keep it okay and the action would be the batch script i'm going to click the new action browse for the script this is going to be the batch file and you can keep the folder also the same so the script would be run in this folder and click ok and then the conditions you can leave it by default and click ok and now you got your process monitor task it will run every five minutes now the task will update the csv file every five minutes the next step is to host this csv file so that you can get a url for this file well you can host this folder in ias or apache or something like that but to keep this simple I'm going to host this folder with python so i'm going to open a command prompt in this folder and i'm going to say python minus m http dot server now this folder is hosted on port 8000 so if i go to localhost 8000 i got this folder and if i just right click and copy the link of the csv paste it in new tab you got the link for your csv file and this link we will be using in grafana now that we have a csv file hosted in a url let's try to create a data source that will fetch the csv through the url so i'm going to the connections data sources and you can add a new data source and search for the infinity data source so this data source can actually monitor csv files so click on this and you can create a data source so i have already created a data source called csv data source so we will use this data source in our alert rules so we have created the data source let's try to create the alert rule so i'm going to go to the alerting alert rules create a new alert rule and let's try to make the alert rule called process monitor and let's make the data source as csv data source and the type would be csv and the parser would be backend the source would be url and the url should be the url which you have just seen so right click on this app status.csv copy link and replace the url with our link and now you need to parse the columns of the csv so expand this parsing options and result field add columns and the column name from the csv was time and it should be formatted as time and the next column would be value the name was val and it should be formatted as a number and that's it let's try to preview and here you got the value being shown in the graph one more thing you need to see is options here 10 minutes that means whenever the alert is being evaluated the last 10 minutes window would be seen for data that means if the point is created 20 minutes back that means you can't get the point so this should also be configured correctly if you want the process to be available recently then you can reduce this options instead of now minus 10 minutes you can write now minus 5 minutes that means the process should be present at least 5 minutes before all right now the next condition is to set the thresholds so here the last value of the query a which is this query if it is below 1 then i can consider it as a firing alert so let's try to preview this it's firing now let's try to set the evaluation behavior you can select a folder if you don't have you can just create one and the evaluation group if you don't have an evaluation group you can create one create a new evaluation group i can write something like five minutes group or something like five minutes and the interval would be five minutes create 
so all rules in the selected group are evaluated every five minutes so for every five minutes the alert would be checked the pending period can be kept zero because we are seeing only instantaneous values and then you can configure notifications you can add tags to your alerts so that you can route the alerts to the required contact points i've already covered this concept in the alerting videos so you can refer that but for now if you preview routing the alert is delivered to the grafana default email which is the default contact point i've already configured the grafana default email so if the alert is triggered i will get the email all right that's it we have configured the data source we have plotted the data and then we have configured the threshold we have configured the evaluation behavior to set at what interval the alert would be checked and then we have configured the routing to deliver the alert to a contact point like an email and then we have saved the rule and exit now we are seeing a rule here within five minutes the next evaluation will happen well let me try to change this to 10 seconds because i want to see the evaluation result so i'm going to write it 10 as and save so within 10 seconds i'm going to know the alert state now you can see the alert is in firing state now if you want you can change the evaluation time to something like five minutes all right the next triggering would be in five minutes so as expected we got an email from the grafana saying that the alert is triggered so we are able to successfully monitor a windows process in grafana now if the process is running again grafana will send a resolved message saying that the alert condition is okay now this way you can easily monitor windows processes using grafana and csv infinity data source all right let's try to see what we did here we have written a batch script which will update a csv file continuously by using some kind of task scheduler so in real time the csv file would be updated whether the process is running or not and then we are hosting this csv file in a file server it can be iis or apache or simple python server so the file will get a url now grafana can be configured using the infinity data source to continuously monitor the csv file through url and trigger an alert if the value is zero this way you can continuously monitor a windows process using grafana you can see i created a blog post on monitoring windows process with infinity data source in grafana i have given you the notes images and source code so that you can implement this at your own environment please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.